Welcome to the Upland Aquaponics Backyard Aquaponics Farm. It's Don Fredericks. Uh, this is my shade structure where I have my actually rafts and a few towers. And this is my shed that I have my fish in. So let's go take a look. Uh, this is a decoupled system. So my fish tank. Yeah. Grab the venturi, some tilapia down in here, some goldfish. Just fed them. The water's pretty cold, so they're not real active. Venturi, also some air stones. The uh, slow uh, solid zipping outlet there. Uh, going into my radio flow filter. These are all DIY recycled parts. Uh, this is a decoupled system, as I said, so it's currently on uh, the fish cycle, just recycling. This side has the uh, open two inch, and then on the other side here, which goes to the the grow area, that side's capped up, capped off on that. So when I want to send water over to the um, grow beds, I just take that cap off and then put it on this side of this uh, protrusion and I can cycle over as much water as I want. Okay, so then it goes over from the radio flow to my uh, fine solids tank which is, uh, there's koi brushes in here and that collects some of the fine solids. Goes over into my moving bed biofilter well, you can see that comes in from the top, flows down to the bottom, goes into uh, over to my sump, and then back into my fish tank. So this is uh, just a closed lick loop uh, aquaculture system here, and um, then I run the fish water over to my uh, greenhouse shade house, I should say. It's my backyard. Everything here is kind of recycled stuff. I've got my rain barrels there, my rain water collection. There's a chicken coop right there. I've got a dirt garden here going. Um, of course, the playground for the grandkids. So let's go in here into the grow area. Just harvested my uh, towers, two of my towers yesterday that were grown out. So these are made out of four inch PVC. And these have just pool noodles in them, and then the newer models I have actually pieces of uh, an inch and a half PVC that are glued in. So these are made by drilling a one inch hole, heating them with a heat gun, and then sticking a one and a half inch PVC pipe in there. I've probably seen that on YouTube, pretty common. So here's the rafts. Again, different stages of growth here. So let's take a look at these roots. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good roots. Very happy with the growth this year. Been doing the College of Aquaponics design course from uh, Ryan Chatterson. Very happy about the things that I've learned. I've been able to uh, add some of those ideas and concepts. So still, this is kind of a test grow. I want to go to a commercial scale, but uh, just kind of going through this and learning as I go. So these, uh, there's a pump in here in my sump tank for the growth section. Can't really see, it's kind of dark in there. And the water's getting pumped up into the uh, raft beds here. And also up over into the towers, which are just a simple half inch PVC with a uh, PVC ball valve and just a half inch stub. Nothing inside the towers, just trickling down. Uh, let's just pull pull one of these guys out of here, give you a look. So, whoop, there we go. So just uh, hanging in there. Water's trickling down. Sorry, my camera work's not real good here. <laughs> All right, well, for the uh, Filipino aquaponics, this is mainly for you, but I also want to post it on the uh, 
the College of Aquaponics with Ryan Chatterson's group also as uh, Matthias has asked for. Thank you, Matthias, for all your uh, input and posting. Appreciate uh, your interest and how you're encouraging the group. All right, thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you.